Okay, cool. So we'll go over multiple ad sets and this is just how you want to break it down. And, and um, before you even start this ad, what you really want to know, what you really want to write down if, if you don't have written down is, is, is every keyword. Like when it comes to your avatar, when it comes to your, your ideal client, every keyword, like let's write down different keywords that, that, that pertain to that audience. Cause that's what your ad sets are going to be. So um, if you don't have that already, we'll just, you know, wing it right now, but that's what you'll want to do. You'll want to think of the top 10 words, top 15, top 20 keywords that pertain to your audience, because again, those will be your ad sets. So click on the green one. Um, but we'll, go, we'll go straight into create. And um, this will really, this will, it'll work with anything, traffic, engagement, anything, video views, but what you really want it for 100% of the time is conversions. And, and I mean, if you're not using a landing page, then you can go lead generation with it. But in this case, we got pages, so we'll go conversions. Um, you can name everything there if you want in the optional, but um, it doesn't really matter. It's up to you, but we'll hit continue. And then um, over here, you'll just, whether it's special ad category, you'll shut it on. If not, then you leave it off. And then, and then we'll scroll down. If we'll, do it, we'll do it as if we're running a, an ad for a real estate agent, but that's most of the times what we're going to be training them on. Yeah, perfect. So I'll, I'll keep it there. I'll keep it real estate. Okay, cool. So on, and then just hit the drop down and we'll go housing. And then um, what we'll do over here is, You'll want to you'll want to do two different ones, and you you don't need a you don't need a test all the time, but but one ad you'll do with scroll down you'll do with the with the campaign budget optimization on, um, and then and then another ad you'll do with it off. So right now we'll just do it off. We'll leave it off okay. because we're going to set the budget at the ad set level, which is the next step. Mm -hmm. So leave that one off for now, and then just scroll down and then click on next. Yeah, perfect. And, and that's CBO. So um, you could just hit next and then we'll go. To Hold the on, my, my, you, know, you know what happens when you have these windows all over the place? All right, let's go. Okay, cool. So right here, this is where, where it all now. Now there's two different and this is this is literally split testing. So when anyone talks about split testing, this is split testing, split testing your keywords, split testing your interest words. That's split testing. Um, you can split test landing pages. That's another form of split testing. Um, and then another form of split testing when it comes, to, there's really only two split testing when it comes to the, these ads. Split testing these keywords, which I'm gonna show you right now, that's ad sets, multiple ad sets. And then another form of split testing is multiple ad creatives, which I can show you that too. But that's on the third, on the third step. So on the ad level, that's where we can go multiple images or yeah, multiple images and split test images. But I'll show you that. I'll show you that after. Let's just focus on, on this right here. So scroll down. So what again, most people do is most and whatever the budget is, put whatever daily lifetime, it don't matter. You can always play with that later. But what I really want to focus on right now is just the keywords and showing you how to properly separate all those keywords. Mm -hmm. So yeah, put that for now. And then you got your calendar and then you got your custom audiences. So scroll down, we'll go down to um, locations, whatever that may be, United States, whatever, any other country, whatever. Um, and it's in housing where you cannot change the age or the gender. And so what we're going to focus on is detail targeting. So go ahead and click on, on that, edit that detail targeting. And so again, here's where everyone, you know, tries to put in every keyword. So a lot of people they'll they'll put in one keyword and then they'll put it in they'll click suggestions and then they'll you know try to grab 10 more. Right. And, and, and logically we're thinking, okay, all these damn keywords, the better. But it it's it's not. Like they are like if you put in 10 keywords, that's cool. And you know those are your 10 words. Okay, cool. That's cool. But again, we need to separate them. So go in and put in that one power word. What's that one? In fact, it's not even one because again, we need to know 10 of them. Now we're not going to do 10 ad sets right now, but what I always recommend is do at least a minimum, a minimum of four. Like you want at least a minimum of four keywords, four ad sets. So let's just do one right here. So, and that's another keyword that's really not, um, I don't think you can target that word anymore, homeowner. That, that's one main word within special health, special ad categories in housing that you cannot target. Right. So, so what will be what will be some keywords for a real estate agent that would you know looking for you know, what? You know to, to target a real estate agent or or for real oh, estate agents for real estate agents forget okay. you know, it's easy to find real estate agents it's, it's harder to find buyers and sellers yeah so when it comes to a when it comes to a real estate agent running this ad I don't have them do any of this shit. so I'm not even teaching an actual agent how to run multiple ad sets. 
because when it comes to a real estate agent, they're targeting a local area and I don't even put any, any word in there. You leave it blank. But when gotcha. it comes to you guys that are targeting real estate agents, okay. so that's, let's when, do that's when we'll now target Tom Ferry. That's one word. We'll then target Robert Kiyosaki. That's a different word, right? So He's here. Is he here? Are, Brian, yep, put in. And, and that's, I'm glad you're putting that in. When it comes to, when it comes to targeting, you want to target an influencer. Those are always good. So targeting a Tom Ferry, targeting a freaking Tony Robbins or a Robert Kiyosaki. This is not coming up though. It'll, it'll come up. It'll come up. Go ahead and just try to ca try capital T. It's, it's super like case sensitive. Tom Ferry and then try, yeah, try, try capital F. And then hit backspace one time, two times, three times, hit backspace a little bit. And then normally it pops up. Yeah, Tom Ferry, he should he should be. I would think he'd be here for sure. Hit Robert Kiyosaki. Type try type in Robert Kiyosaki. Something's Cap, off because of Cap, capital R. Yeah. You see, I was only bringing up like. Is that because you have a special? Do you special I feel because the no. ad category is all no, no. No, it 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 wouldn't. Yeah, you should. That that happens like normally when you're typing it in, and then you'll have to backspace, and then and then that word will populate. Which is weird, um, but that's happened to me a million times. What do you want me to do, Dave? I don't know. Try typing in who, who's another influencer in that in that space. Um, Barry Brian Buffini, Tony Robbins. I mean, he should be there. Yeah, yeah. T try either Anthony Robbins or, or Tony Robbins. So when it comes to your guys' targeting, like yeah, targeting an influencer is always good, like a big big influencer. Like hey, a Tony see? Robbins, like a Oprah, someone like that, like at that level. That's always good. Like a Gary Vaynerchuk. What, what, what do you think is not showing up, man? Yeah, let's turn that off. Really, the truth is I don't need it to be on anyway because I'm running a, a coach ad. Yep, perfect. All right, perfect. cool. So, All right. so, those are, so that, that's what you want to focus on for sure, for sure, is, is top influencers for sure. Um and then also, also top Facebook business pages. All right, so I got um, the Brian Buffini. What do you want me to do now? Okay, perfect. So now here's what's going to happen. So we just, we just, we just put in that one word. So what you want to do also is make sure that everything else, the budget, the calendar, automatic placements, everything is is the way it's going to be. Um, so now all we do is we don't hit next. What we're going to do is we're going to go back. We're going to X out of this to the top left. So X out. Yeah, it, it'll save. It'll just hit close. Yeah, we're not going to publish just yet. So um, actually, you know what? I take that back. The first one, this is the first one. So we're using this as the blueprint. This right, is so the we want to go ahead and launch this. And then yeah, the others, we'll just one. save them until this one gets yes. So this go one gets passes. And then we'll let, let go of the others. And then you publish all the other ones. Yes, man. Right. So so go back into this one real quick. Hit edit. And then just, just hit publish. Let's publish this one. So go to add sets. Actually, just do for the ad. Oh, we didn't we didn't create yeah, the ad, right? Actually, right here, click on, click on edit right below the title. Yeah, edit the word edit, and then um, just update the update the the calendar real quick. So just um, what's today? Today's the 29th. Yeah. This that's is so this this start date is in the past. Why is it saying? Oh, today the 30th. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so yeah, so change the time, and then and then just go next. Perfect. So hit next, and then and then we'll just come to the to the third step, and let's just we'll just publish anything for now, and and we won't run this right. You'll just shut it off right away. But let's just use it for the example. And you can why don't I just use um use existing post. So just create ad, click on that drop down, and go use existing post on the ad setup. So create ad, and then use existing post, and just grab anything random for now. Select post. Can you, can you click on any of those? Yeah. Yeah, click on any of them. I mean, that's fine. Perfect. So then, so that call to action button, just put, just put send message for now. 
hit add button and then just go send message. So we'll publish, we'll publish the first one, right? The first one gets published and then we just set up all the other ones, wait for this to go approve. And then you turn on everything else, just like Pierre, Pierre said. So just hit, yeah, choose um, send message. It's just, it's, oh, no, it's not it. You got, um, see more, see shop now, maybe sign up. What's, maybe because you did the WhatsApp setup and it goes to WhatsApp now. Yeah, that's how it is. I did a WhatsApp setup, but okay, so that's that's probably what that is then. Yeah, click on that one then. Okay, cool. So update post. It don't even matter. So just hit update post. We're just doing this as an, as, as an example. So hit publish, and um, and we'll be good. So so this one goes into review, and we're good with this. So X out of this top left, and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that the box is checked. So un un um, select the one selected on the add. So the X out that blue to the very very right. The one selected to the very, very right. Yeah, uncheck that one. Uncheck the middle one. So we got some errors. And it might have just be promotion. No promote. Please specify. Um, so over here, let's scroll down. So it's the pixel. So yeah, so there's no pixel on this account. So that's why that's why you're getting that error. But but again, just as the example, that's all this is. So normally you you have that pixel right. right there you would choose that conversion and that's it all right cool so because so I, have the pixel that's the, I, I, I never really use this particular yeah. account much yeah. that's why for sure so now here's what's happening now so so uncheck the one selected that middle the ad set one selected uncheck that one to the right yeah yeah that one okay so now we're going back to the campaign level so click on that campaign level so right here this is the box that you always want to make sure is checked so now we click on the middle tab click on the middle tab ad sets for one campaign that middle tab and then all we're going to do is create and that's going to be our second keyword so click on create from here and that's our second keyword so um right here in the and here's what i do too in the um in the ad set level, the title, mm -hmm. yeah, you can you can go. No, that's 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 based on the first campaign, so that that stays the same. That stays stays the same. The only thing, yeah, leave that one, leave that one the same. The only thing that you're changing is the title. This is going to be the second keyword. So the first one was the was the boofy guy, or roughy guy, whatever the hell his name was, and then and then this <laughs> title is something different. So this would be you know Tom Ferry. This would be Robert Kiyosaki. Whatever, whatever that next keyword is, that's the title of the ad set. And that will be the same thing. Add same thing. Add same thing. So now we'll hit continue and we'll come into the ad set. And now we're going to simply scroll down and make sure we choose Tom Ferry. And again, normally you'll have that pixel set up. You'll have that conversion uh, chosen. Um, and then all you're going to do is go down to detail targeting. And this right here is that next word. Cool. And then, so now we're not going to publish it. All we're going to do is just simply X out. And, and then, and then now we're going to simply hit close. And then we're going to, we're going to uncheck the one selected to the very, very right. And then uncheck that one selected in the middle and then come back to the campaign. Make sure that's checked. Yeah. Let's check that box to the left. And then all we're going to do is come no, yeah, to the left right there, the blue one. Yep. And then click on the middle tab and then do the third one. That's all you're doing. So as these ads run, again, you'll you'll have the same, what you want is the same daily budget for all of them. So, you know, again, we're doing this as an example, but you have the 20 and then you have 50. So in this case, what you want to do is a minimum of four. Like you want to do a minimum of four ad sets and you want to do a minimum, again, depending on your pricing and depending on, you know, your, your, your revenue and what you're selling. Um, that kind of determines your budget, but at the same time, you want to be at a minimum of at least 10 bucks, like a minimum 10 bucks a day. And now we're looking at four per day. So that's 40 per day, but you're only running that for three days. So, so you're going to have to have that upfront cost, but on that fourth day, you should see that one out of four that's actually performing. And then you just go and shut off the other three and let that one, let that one ride. And, and that one that one that actually is the winner, that should be the one that makes up for all these other three that did not perform. 
So, so these would all be at, at 10 bucks, 10 bucks to, or 20 bucks, whatever, whatever your guys' budget is, but um, that's all the same daily budget. And all you're going to do is rock with four of them. And that's minimum four. Um, as you scale up, then you'll be doing, you know, way more. It's all about the ad sets. That's what this so is. So we all got about. this one campaign, which is, and then if we wanted to do another campaign, I can do the same procedure, but with campaign budget on, right? Yes, I guess if you're talking about yes. earlier. So I could create yes. another campaign on this level. Yes. So let's say I'm finished with, so this one campaign, I have, uh, let's say call it four ad sets, right? I got the Gary Vee, the Tom Ferry. Yes. And and the Brian Buffini, I think is, is yes. would have been this one, right? Yeah. This would have been Brian. Go ahead and name, go to name it real quick, just so we're looking at, just so we're looking at the, just do the title, the title. You could just hit the pencil or you could do it from there. Yeah, it's fine. So yeah, the, 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 yeah, you could do it right there. Yeah, so name that, name that, that first guy, Brian. Yep, Brian Buffini. Perfect. And then, and then just X out to the top left. And then, and that's how we should be looking at it. So we should be looking at it just like right, right. there. Yes. So we got one campaign. We're running four ad sets, same ad, same ad, but four yep. different. So yep. only one, the, the, the ad is the same. Yep. The ad sets change because we're targeting different, different interests. But this one campaign, but this campaign tells me you know, I'm doing this one with budget optimization off. Yes. I'm going to do the same create, but this time, when I create this time, I'm going to do campaign budget on. Yes. Right. But yes. I'll run the same. I'll run the same. The same. Uh, the same interest. Same ad. Right. Yes. yes. And then we watch and see who's doing better based on the, yes. the budget off or on. And which interest is better than which one? Yes. Click on the middle tab real quick, ad sets. Do you know the difference between on and off? Do you know the difference between CBO and? Like, like, like the toggle or no? What do you mean? No, on no, off? no. Stay right here. Stay right here. Do you know? Yeah. The, I'm just asking a question. Like, do you know, do you know the difference between having it on versus not having it on? The campaign budget optimization? No, I don't know the difference. Okay, no. good. Okay, good. When you toggle it on campaign budget optimization, you allow Facebook to run ads to these three and find your winner. Like, and, 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 and only put the budget towards that winner from the get-go from the beginning, from the very beginning, Facebook's going to know that winner and, 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 or actually, well, they're not going to necessarily know it right away, but over time, over a few hours, they're going to know that winner right away. And they're going to allocate all the money without you automatically. They're going to allocate all the money towards that one ad set. So if it's Gary V, if he's the one that's popping for you, Facebook CBO is on and Facebook allocates all the money towards that one right away versus having it off. You're going to manually look at this yourself. All right. So, and I guess, I guess, I guess if you're, if you're a heavy marketer and you, you know, you like that kind of stuff or that's pro I heard a lot of people say that that's the better way, but you got to really monitor it. Well, well, having it off, you got to monitor it. Right, right. So yeah. which one is the better way in your in your professional opinion, on or off? I've been taught to have it off. Like I've been taught to okay. have it off. Now, Facebook last year was, was gonna was gonna make that a requirement where they're gonna make it mandatory where everybody turns it on and, and let Facebook determine which one is the winner and, and let them just rely you know just rely on them. But but my coaches and, and who I learned from today, they still leave it off. Like no matter what now. So Facebook doesn't require it. They don't man. It's not mandatory where you have to turn it on. So a lot of people that I learned from don't even turn it on. They just manually look at it from here. They wow. manually look at it um, and, and manually manage it. But then again, it, it that's why I, I truly believe you should still test it. You should run one with it on run one with it off. And, and, and I like that. I've, I've, I've done some coaching before, but I've never been taught to do on and off and watch both. I've yes. always been taught, take it off, watch it yourself, and then you'll see the yes. impressions. You'll see the cost per result. And if you see Gary V is kicking butt, then you hit the, you hit Tom off, you hit Brian off. Yes. And then you just you just go in on, on Gary. Yes, exactly. And then um, what you'll want to do is you'll want to you'll want to increase that daily budget. So when an ad is on, you don't want to touch it. You don't want to touch it. Don't mess with the targeting. Don't mess with the freaking demographics. None of that shit. Don't mess with any of that. The only well, thing you, from here. Well, well, just like as far as editing, like you know how like the like ad. I know. Yeah, you don't. You don't go change the picture. Yeah, you, you don't, don't add a you period. Don't, you don't do anything. Yeah, you don't change anything. Then, but the one thing that you can change is the budget. Right. So and where would can, I do that? You, so you would just simply click on click on the edit. Like so, go under any title and click on edit. 
and then you would just go to the budget. So now, and, and, and that's why doing the, but leaving CBO off and you manually looking at, it, looking at it yourself allows you to come in here and actually play with this budget. So if Gary V was the one out of four that pops, what we'll want to do is come in here and increase that budget by 20%. Right. So I'll put some, you know, because if I'm doing these, I'm not doing a lifetime, I'm doing daily budget, right? Yes. The, if doing I'm doing this, yes, yes. This, this particular split testing that we're yes, doing, doing, because daily. I want to be able to come in and just be like, all right, cool. He's, he's popping. Let me just go ahead and, you know, whatever, whatever yeah. I'm into, right? And, and, and it's going up by 20%. So, so, so you'll, you'll go up 20%. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then that's, that's, that's fine for now. And then, and then our next call, give me one second. Actually, never mind. I thought my little one was gonna run in. Um, our next call, I'll show you how to. I'll show you how to duplicate. Actually, you know what? I could show you how to do it right now, um, because what normally people will try to do is they'll, they'll come in here. I'm telling you to go up twenty percent, but I'm telling you to do it one time. I'm not telling you to keep going up twenty percent. Now, some people do do it that way, but again, who I learn from, I mean, monsters in the in the game. They'll increase it by twenty percent one time, and then after that, they'll just simply come in and duplicate the entire thing so rather than rather than messing with this budget they'll do it one time go ahead and click close so rather than rather than taking keep going up 20 percent, 20 percent, rather than doing that they'll go up 20 percent one time and then all they're going to do is x out of the one selected the middle ad set so take away gary v yeah just no to the right to the right the ad set uh, yeah so let's go back to the left to the campaigns so what, what, what an individual will do once we find that Gary V is the one, we're going to go in there on the, on, the, on the first time around, increase it by 20%. After we do that, then we're going to come over here. We're going to check the box to the left, and we're going to duplicate this campaign. So now I have the whole entire campaign duplicating. That's how you increase it. So, so and, and you, can go, you can go just one. You could just go one. So now, now rather than again playing with with Gary V's budget, we're gonna just duplicate it, and now and now we're running now we're running both of them at the same time, to now split test that. Does that make sense? Oh yeah. So now, yeah, so now, so now I can just leave Gary V at the twenty percent that he's and just let him do that. But now I could come back and just put all. So now what I would do is. I would take these guys out is what you're saying. You can leave them. They're already turned off. They're, they're going to be turned off. So you can leave them. So, so what we did is we duplicated the entire campaign, which, which, which in essence, the entire campaign is only Gary V. So, so now, now right, because, because before we duplicated it, we would have come out of here. These guys would have been, turn, these guys would have been switched off. Yes. Now that's the other thing. So let's say all I got to do is switch them off from on this level, right? Yes. And that's it. Yes. Yeah, yes. because the ad is still going to be running. So even though I switch it off here and it, it's it on here, it doesn't it matter because it's off on the ad set level. Exactly. Exactly. Now you can, I like to, I, for, for just me, this is just preference. Peace of like mind. To, yeah. Peace of mind. I like to, I like to make everything gray. If the damn thing's off, yeah. shade the damn thing gray on all three levels. Right. That's, that's my thing, thing too. I, I'll so, just go and make sure everybody's gray. So there's no yes. glitching. Right. Yes, exactly. Okay. So, so once I do that, then I duplicate it. So now if I go back to my campaign level, this is the, this is the, this is the copy here. Yep. Yep. Now I yep. could get in here and I could dig up. Now you're saying now I could go in and work on the budget here. We'll see. We'll see. Not necessarily. You may not have to just yet because here's what happened. We increased the first time around with Gary V. We increased it by 20%. And then what we did is we cloned the campaign. So now right. we have two Gary V's increased by 20%. Now we have two of them going. In right. three days, you're going to want to shut off one of them. Because now you're going to really see your winner. Right. right? Now, and I'm not touching anything on that clone one either no. is what you're saying. Zero. You're cloning the whole damn thing and then, and then shutting one of them off after, after three complete days. And, and then what's the, what's the mindset behind that? What do you think is, well, why do you think well, the, the one will perform better than the other one? Is it just fatigue? 
Yes. It, no, it's, it's not fatigue. It's just, it's just Facebook. It's just, it's the, it's the way they, they operate. You just don't know. Like you don't know. Like, and, and it's just, it, we know it because Gary Vee, it popped. We see the numbers it's bringing in leads. It's making sales, whatever it may be. We know that that keyword is the one, but again, it's just split testing. It's narrowing it in even further and just duplicating it to now show Facebook two of them and get me a winner out of these two. All it is, is narrowing it down, narrowing it down to squeeze out every freaking penny of a keyword. How would you know when, a, when, a, when an ad is fully exhausted now and you got to you got to switch it off and, and refresh it? Your, your metrics. I mean, when leads aren't coming in or cells aren't being made or, 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 or the impressions the cost aren't. Per, the cost per result is too high. Or the, the cost per result is too high. Yep. Yep. Um, that's what, I mean, just looking at the numbers, you'll be able to tell. Um and that's why that's why you'll always want to keep things fresh. You always want to don't let. I mean, I've 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 seen ads where a person would run an ad, and and I'm talking, you know, looking at monsters that that I learned from. They'll run an ad for a couple months, but that's kind of the longest. Like normally, you're 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 running new ads, fresh content every 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 week or at least every couple weeks. Even even if one is popping, even if one is popping, go and find another keyword. It's all about ad sets. So it's all about multiple ad sets. That's why that's why in the very beginning of our call, I said, dude, you should have 10, 15, 20 different keywords that you know right now written down because these are all keywords. You're going to start with four, but we still got 16 more that we want to test. All right. So, so that's the next call, what we should do is have at least 10 keywords already, you know, like built out. It, and yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then also if your budget allows it. And not, not, you don't have to run them all at one time. Now, again, I mean, you don't have to run them all at one time. Four is the minimum. Four is the minimum. It's, it's all based on your budget. Four is the minimum. But I, again, I, 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 the, the guys that I learned from, it's like they're running, they're running 75 at one time. And they're running 75 to find the one that pops. This right? is, this so, is great, Chris, for when we're doing the social ninja. We get all the keywords and we run 10 ads and we maybe maybe we start off, David, with about a five five dollar, like a five dollar yes, budget. Yep. We start off with that. Yes. Do like a five dollar, we run 10 ads, so that's fifty dollars a day. No, but we're running yes. not 10 ads, 10 uh, 10 uh 10 keywords at five dollars a piece, five dollars a day. That's so that's need. that's fifty words, and then we run that for like the you know, a minimum cycle is what, like four days, like within four days, you should minimum. know which one's popping, right? Minimum, minimum. I, I, I've spoken to Facebook many times. Like, you know, when, when you start spending money, they'll invite you to get on a call just to strategize and shoot the shit. I've gotten on many calls with them and they say, they say, let that damn thing run for 10 to 14 days, but that's them. Like I've learned from, like I've learned from amazing people and they, they test it for three to four days. So I go off of them. Like I listen to the people that I learn from really not Facebook. Like these sometimes are right. Cause they, their job is to keep getting that money. Yeah, that's the all they want is that money. Right. But like yeah. millions of dollars. They know yes, man. after four, after like four to five days, three, know. You know, yep. four to five days, you could get the metrics that you need. Yes, dude. If you do it the way that you're talking about, right? Like yes. if, if you do it the way where you split test, run, you know, 10 keywords, one, one campaign, you know, 10 ad sets, 10, 10 different ad sets, 10 different keywords. Right. That's, that's what it is. Um, then you'll know and you'll yes. know who the clear winner is. And now you can just like dump money and that and run that for, for a while. Yes. And, and here's another thing. That's why it's very important to have all your keywords, have it on an Excel spreadsheet, have that shit, you know, by your, by your side, know your avatar, know those keywords. That's super important. But, but also keep in mind that let's say, let's say we do run 10 and only two of them pop. The other eight didn't, didn't perform well. That doesn't mean that those eight words will never perform. Those eight words just didn't perform based on that ad. So it could have been the image. It could have been the video. It could have been, it could have been, it could have been, yeah, it, based on that. Because if we're targeting a certain area, then we know that's our area. We know that's our audience, but the image may not have resonated. The, the video may not have resonated. with. Don't throw away the keywords is what you're saying. Like, I right, agree. Like try 10 to work. Let me put these eight back and then. After I exhaust these two and we make some money off of it, yes. Let me go back in on the eight, yes. pull them out. But let's see, maybe come from a different angle now. The last time I did it was video. Maybe I go with an image. Yes, the last man. time was an image. Maybe yes. I go with a video. Yes. Or the, the message, or or maybe the copy, or whatever yes. it was. Yes. yes. Switch it up a little yes. bit and go again. Yes. 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 And and here's another thing. Remember, this is what we went over on our last call was lookalike audiences. That is the ultimate destination. So all this shit right here, trying to figure out what keywords pop and all this damn multiple ad set shit, it's only in the beginning. 
Once you have 100 people minimum that hit that destination page, that thank you page, that thank you for purchasing page, that opt-in page, whatever the hell it is, once you have that 100 hit, you go create a lookalike audience and now you only target that. So that's how you scale your business. It's not going to be always multiple ad sets at all. It's only in the beginning to build your custom audiences so you can then create the lookalike. The lookalike is what it's Yeah, because about. I have a pixel... I have a pixel that's on fire, you know, that I, that I've been, I've been had for a minute and it's mm -hmm. on fire. So I got to go do that homework that we, that we talked about. The um, and then I'll be able to do it. Yes. Cre create yeah, those that's custom been... audiences. Huh? Cre yeah. Create those custom audiences. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. But I think this pixel right here is, is the one that, um, that's, that's really, that's, that's hot. One of them is hot. Yeah. All right, cool, man. Yeah. It's cool. So, cool stuff. So, so that's multiple ad sets. Just brain brainstorm and, and, and just figure out all these damn keywords because, again, you'll be using those as, as you're targeting. And, and I'm glad you brought up five bucks because, yeah, five bucks is kind of all you need. Five bucks to test per day is, is all you need per word. So um, just depend on if you're high ticket, like then you'll want to spend a little a little bit more if it's high ticket. But it's up to you. I mean, you can start. Right, if it's like a, like, a, like, a, like a 197. Or nine nine seven something like or that. Right? Even like a real estate agent, like a real estate agent that's making several thousand per deal. It's like, dude, spend at least ten bucks, you know. So so yeah, depend on 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 your product or service, then yeah, kind of go off of that. But five bucks should be good for sure. Yeah, this is the this is the pixel I told you that I've been that's been um that I'm going to set up from what you taught me because this one Perfect. I've been having it running for a while and I think I have a, I think I'm way over more than a hundred people that hit that hit that stuff. Awesome, awesome, man. So that's multiple yeah, assets, kind of man. Important. That's multiple assets. So do whatever you need to do to your to your account, Pierre, and then um, and then on our next call, we can we can go in and run a full blown ad if you guys want. No, we'll be ready. We'll be ready. We're gonna talk about that, Chris. Push it. You know, we'll we'll talk about the scheduling the next time because I'll probably need a little extra time. So we'll see what we can do to schedule the next call. Cool. Okay. okay. Um, Sounds good. I have man. the link. We have the link to schedule. So uh, whenever we're ready, we'll get it scheduled. Sounds good, guys. Yeah. Let me know if you need anything. I'll be an email away. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Later, man.